Hello everybody and welcome to a quick introduction to EVE Online for players interested in uh, participating with the Doctor Who crossover event that starts January 13, 2022. Um, I'm going to introduce you to Exploration, which will allow you to tackle the uh, or parts of the event rather quickly. Um, let me give you a TLDR of what you have to do and we will cover some of the points in this video. Um, also, if you're a content creator, you might find a couple of uh, tips as well in order to make the visuals more appealing to your audience. All right, here's the summary. What you obviously have to do with an online game is create an account. Uh, I highly suggest you're going to use a body link, which will reward you with 1 million skill points. Skill points are passively trained in EVE. You get a couple of skill points per minute and they are allocated to skills. If you have unallocated skill points, 1 million, that's going to help you kind of uh, speed up your training into some skills, which allow you to access modules uh, or ships or make modules perform better, ships perform better. Also, using a body link will support the content creator. Um, that is sharing it with you, uh, feel free to use mine in the channel description, but really just use any body link to not miss out on the 1 million skill points. Secondly, you will go and download uh, EVE Online, obviously, and since it's an MMO, you are going to create a character as step number three. After that, really important, play the new player tutorial. Uh, it looks gorgeous, and it's going to introduce you in the basic mechanics with camera movement and approaching things, locking up things, interacting with things, etc. Super important, do not skip that one. Once you are done with this, I highly suggest you run the exploration career agent through the agency, and this is basically where my video here picks up to make sure you do not uh, get caught up in uh, problematic uh, situations which might be unclear on uh, how to proceed for new players. Lastly, if you like this content, leave a subscription below. Visit us at uh, twitch.tv slash earthlog. We will be Dr. How to uh, during the uh, event and help you out if you have any questions about the game. All right, I'm still here but we are looking at the EVE client right now with a deactivated interface, uh, content creator tip, control F9 deactivates all the clutter. EVE has a lot of windows and it will uh, yeah, be hard to get beautiful footage if uh, these windows are in the way. Control F9 to toggle back and forth the interface. After the tutorial uh, and when you log in to, to the game, you will be in a little ship let me close this uh, agency window first. We will go back to this in a moment. Um, it will be in your little ship. And as I mentioned, you want to run the exploration career agent in order to get some things that will help you doing the exploration uh, part in game, which also will be one part of the Doctor Who crossover event. Um, and also it uh, will uh, explain how to actually do this sort of... Um, adventures in, in EVE Online. Let's get started. It doesn't matter if you are an Alpha clone or an Omega clone, by the way, this is going to work for both. Alpha being the free-to-play access, don't worry about that. The only thing that happens with, with Omega access is your skill points accumulate faster and you can access all skills and modules and chips, etc., which is not relevant to, to start out with EVE. Now you're perfectly fine with an Alpha account. All right, let's get started. You need the agency in order to find a career agent. Before we actually hop in there, there is one important section in the agency which is going to help you out a lot. It's the help section, and it does have videos, um, especially the explorer um, section here will uh, help you out greatly in order to understand how to exactly tackle the uh, tasks for the exploration career agent. That being said, open the agency, go back home, agents and missions, there is a career agents tab, and in there you will find 
a explorer agent. All you need to do is set a destination. You're ready to go. But before you actually undock, though, I highly recommend maybe clicking the air race explorer link, depending on what race you chose during uh, the character creation. Uh, there will be either Kaldari, Minmatar, Amar, or Galenti mentioned here as a, a recommended skill plan. It doesn't really matter what race you play unless you're uh, hugely invested into the lore. Um, click that little link here and without further explanation, start the training for this plan. This will automatically start accumulating skill points into specific skills which are going to help you to do exploration. No worries about the, uh, the duration. Um, it might tell you this is going to take uh, a couple of days um but we will speed that up with the uh skill points you got through the body link as well but for now the uh skills are in training you can see uh, astromedic range finding is currently being trained whatever that means we will look at in a later video for now we will just start with the agent i set the destination already i'm gonna close the window and undock from the current station. Next up, since we are in space, we already learned in the new player experience uh, how to, to navigate. Um, use your overview, uh, probably to the right, unless you have moved that window already. And then, since we set a destination, there will be a stargate indicated as yellow. You can either right-click there, warp, or jump. Uh, or I prefer using the a radial menu so you click left click a bit longer the radial menu pops up and all i want to do is jump because i'm not in range of the gate it will automatically warp me there first and uh, here is a initial or a further an additional content creator tip um if you don't want to make your uh viewership nauseous you might want to turn off the shaking and bumping uh, for warp animations mainly uh, you go there um, to the display and graphic settings, you hit escape, that menu pops up, and then remove camera shake, camera bobbin, apply. That's going to make your uh, experience way smoother when uh, warping around. It's also using a bit less bandwidth um, uh, for the encoding. In addition, um, while we jump here, you might want to switch your client into full screen windowed mode. The default setting is full screen and if you want to have a full screen windowed mode that is called fixed window in eve um set that here apply and you're good to go um i have to do one more jump and while we are jumping uh, i will go over uh, a couple of elements you might have on your ui which at first look uh, a bit cluttery um but uh, maybe like important a bit later so at the very top you have sort of the shortcuts um, where you can enable and disable certain elements of of this UI, which are uh, a search bar, for example. If you search anything in EVE, you can just type in there and hit that. I'm going to disable this for now. You can see the current location. This is the uh, solar system we are in, um, including uh, region information plus which uh, major faction this belongs to. I'm going to disable that one as well. Furthermore, we see our current route. Uh, there's only one jump left, and then we are going to dock. Uh, that's the autopilot information, although it's not really automatic. Um, for new players, there is a tab called Opportunities, which, uh, well, let's have a quick look, is suggesting I go mining. We will not do that for now, but if you ever wonder what could I do next, maybe check Opportunities and let the game guide you there okay next up is no uh, stargate jump we will just talk with the uh, agent's station we have to go to the station in order to talk to the agent he lives there and he will only talk to us um while we are physically docked at that station um furthermore there might be some skilling spree this is uh like a daily quest sort of which gives you or awards you skill points uh not important right now so i'm gonna disable pretty much um, everything for now so we will only have the ancient sort of widget up once we started the mission okay we arrived at the science 
and Trade Institute School, where our career agent is located. If you forgot how the guy uh, looks or is called, no worries. It will also be listed on the right side in the Agents tab. You have a couple of agents here. Soldier, Fortune, Enforcer, Industrialist. Those are all different paths you can take in EVE. Um, we are looking at the Exploration one though, so we can right-click on that guy and start the conversation. And we'll now uh, be presented with the very first mission. There are five missions to do, which are introducing us into uh, Cosmic Anomalies, Signatures, how to, to interact with them, how to find them, basically. I will go through this very very quickly and not uh, explain in detail how these things work again if you want to know how specific things work in regards to exploration open up the agency go to the help section and uh, watch the uh, according videos it is uh, including audio explanation it is narrated they, it will show you exactly how to do this thing not in a min maxed way but in in a way that that certainly is going to work for you i'm just going to show you a couple of uh, roadblocks which you might hit uh, so you don't you know quit the game just because you don't understand what the game wants you to do right now um in general it makes a lot of sense uh to read the uh mission text once the mission is offered um because it's going to explain you the the basics on what you were supposed to do first the the game wants to show you how to uh, enable your sensor overlay and find specific anomalies. Um, let's accept this uh, mission and have a look on how to proceed now. What you may have noticed, uh, you just got an additional uh, widget on your UI. As Since I'm docked, I have to disable all these things again. But only once it will remember this next time I'm docked. So we have information about our current um uh, mission and uh it did say in the mission text we have to undock next sometimes you will even get a button here actually most of the times that will happen let's undock and run the first mission very quickly you can close this window if you do so and you need to get back uh to this information you can go to the little agent missions widget on the top left click that question mark you can either go into this very dialogue which is sort of the conversation with the agent or you can go uh, into details and read the mission briefing again which says okay once you've undocked in space enable your sensor overlay and look around for a location named anomaly training site now this is the first roadblock and this part of the video will take uh, the longest because we will also cram in uh, a few um, tips and tricks in regards to window management um so the game pretty much leaves you alone um with well open your sen sensor overlay it does not explain you how to do this if you are hitting any other roadblock than this one because i will obviously show you the solution um the game also initializes with a rookie help channel open just ask uh there are functionalities in the game which allow other uh, players or gms uh to help you uh in uh, with, with links they will just provide a blue link click that blue link and it will highlight an element in your ui this is a very very helpful interaction so use rookie help if you can't uh, figure out what's next for the uh, problem in question in order to start the exploration career path just uh, go down to this little symbol on your bottom center hut it is called scanners click on that thing there's a radial menu opening and you want to open up the probe scanner that is the left most icon on that circle once you do this um you get another full screen window the game is full of windows and stars uh and you might want to uh do a a little bit of a reconfiguration of of full screen windows and and which windows are docked where etc to have a more like uh streamlined UI. This might be perfectly fine for you. Uh, personally, I do like to undock the probe scanner window because this window here is not only used with this view um, system um, view. It is also used to just find anomalies, which you usually do not really care where exactly they are in in you know regards to the system itself because you can just right click and warp to things or or hit that little button there to warp 
to uh, uh, this uh, anomaly, for example. So what you want to do is uh, open this in a separate window. It's this little little button here. Uh, after you've done that, uh, I suggest in order to just get used um, to the window mechanics that you close uh, this system uh, overview first and have a quick look at uh, the functionality we have in the window. You might ask, how do we get back that window we just closed? Um, you can either go, uh, well, best way is to go to uh, click this solar system map icon and you're back. And now you will see the problem. Where are all my windows? This is super annoying. So let's close this again. What you want to do is the elements in the UI, you always want to see no matter what full screen window is open, you can actually uh, specify. So for example, the probe scanner, you can go to this little icon. It's called enable always above full screen views. Click that one. Maybe do it for the chat as well if you want. Um, personally, I like to have my overview available too. And you might wonder, how the hell do I get this one here um, on top of the full screen windows? Well, use the little burger menu. It's called options down there. And then you can uh, check always above full screen views. Okay, that being solved, we can now click that button again, solar system map, and you will see, boom, we got our windows. And if we um, open up some of these uh, tabs, uh, I, or these options or widgets I closed before, they will also stay in this state every time we open up the, uh, the map. Okay, that being said, let's go back to the mission. We just achieved enable your sensor overlay. That's what we basically did right now, plus did a bit of filling with windows. All right, I'm going to close this. Um, not, not yet, actually. We are looking for a location named Anomaly Training Site. We can see uh, that thing here, Anomaly Training site um, and then we can right click on it or just hit the warp to button which will move our ship to that location so this is our initial task it uh, we are advised to warp to it and then we will get further instructions once we made it there so let's close this window and see if there's any further instructions for us um exploration is based around anomalies cosmic signatures they are currently red we will explain that in a moment why and how to to deal with that we cannot warp to signatures and it is centered around this screen a lot if we are uh, dealing with signatures okay we got an incoming transmission telling us we've done well nice and uh normally well there will be hostile ships according to the game all we need to do now is to recover the proof of discovery document uh, that has been left here you will find that thing in a training container which uh you can also see here in your overview this is the training container use the radial menu maybe to to interact with that or just click the entry in the list and use the selected item uh toolbar which was introduced to you during the new player experience so what we want to do is we want an approach i will use the radial menu for approach um, if you do have a propulsion module, a module making your ship faster, you might as well just turn that on now, as in click on it and let it cycle. Your ship will be faster, so this task is complete sooner. We are getting closer to the uh, container. Once you are within 2,500 meters of the container, you will be able to open it. So let's wait for that to happen. Still approaching it. There we go, 2,500 meters. And closer and then you can also use radial menus in space it might be a bit fiddly sometimes uh, if that's the case just use it in the um, overview otherwise just use it in the space as well and now we got a new window here this window shows us proof of concept this is the contents of the training container right there and all we need to do in order to get it into our ship is hit the loot all button done didn't change the contents of this window, but you see the container disappeared and you have that thing in your cargo hold right now. You can close that and you're done. Also, the widget detected that you're sort of progressing with the mission and is suggesting your next step, which is bringing back proof of discovery to the station, offering you the docking button. Let's close this window and uh, we're back to the station.
Okay, now that we are docked, uh, the widget is suggesting to start a conversation again. Let's hit that button and we can complete the mission. That was mission one out of five. You will also see you get some rewards, uh, 142,000 ISK. That's the currency in EVE Online. And we also get a bonus reward because we were faster than, or we, we turned in the, the quest sooner than five hours and 51 minutes. Complete mission. The item will be taken now from our uh, cargo hold. And we are presented with the next mission, which wants to showcase us um, additional exploration um, sites. And here's where the uh, next, or where the, where the first help section tutorial is going to be super helpful. The scanning basics, I'm going to be extremely brief. If you want to have details, we will, uh, or you go to this video and check it out on your own time. Now, let's uh, request the mission, accept the mission. Uh, also, uh, we are granted an item. You don't really need to pay attention to this one. I will show you what that means and how you can deal um, with, with this reward from the, uh, or that's not a reward, it's a granted item <clears throat> for this mission. It, it's going to make it a bit faster to uh, to run uh, this content. So what you want to do is open your inventory and uh, then the ship hangar. In there, you see, oh, you got a new ship. You can use that new ship um, assembling it. It's currently packaged, double clicking on the item, assembles it. You're not yet in the ship, as you can see, uh, there's still me in this little ibis. Uh, once I double click uh, again, I will enter the ship. Before we do this, um, the entering into the other ship, I suggest that uh, you right click on your current ship and hit strip fitting. That removes all the modules you have on your ship and puts it on, into the item hangar. We will need that in a moment. After you've done that, jump into the new ship and open up the fitting window over here. Fitting window is uh, there. If you go to the little inventory button here, you will see the things in your hangar, which you just stripped from the other ship, and you can put it back onto the new ship. You don't really need the Gatling gun and the miner, but I highly suggest you bring your afterburner with you. So I just fitted it uh, in the mid slots. Afterburners go into mid slots over here. Those are the low slots. These are the high slots. Um, Make sure you are not in simulation mode, because if you do this in simulation mode, it will not really put the module there. It will only simulate the ship with the module you put in. But since I opened the fitting window and did not hit the simulate button, this is the actual fitting of the ship. Okay, that being said, uh, let's undock and continue with uh, this mission. I'm going to close the window and uh, let's see how the game, the game is guiding us. If there's any hiccups, we will then explain how to solve. Okay, the game tells us warp to a location. Uh, this time we do not have to scan down anything. This is also not a, uh, a location you can scan down yourself. This is just an example um, point in space hosting uh, tutorial cosmic signature. Later on we will scan down some of these which are available to all players. The point in space you're warping to now is exclusive to you unless well somebody uh, scans you down. Uh, we arrived at that location and we are being greeted. Uh, follow the um, description, read the mission texts. Without doing so it is extremely hard to understand what the game wants you to do. Most of the time, though, you will have some hint in the uh, Ancient Witch into the top left. A again, it says you need to activate the acceleration gate. We will do that. You can do that either in space by click and holding the uh, left mouse button and then choosing an option in the radio menu or right click and uh, activate the gate or you just do the same thing in the overview. Everything works. Let's go in. So this is a... Uh, acceleration gate uh, which exists in uh, in a lot of content this is sort of the the staging point where you warp to a certain point in space and then the uh, game will offer you to to start the dungeon so to speak 
okay we just arrived in uh, site number one where we are presented with a uh, pad and this pad requires us to uh, go to the to the box the exploration supplies somehow the, the tutorial did not update the information in our uh, little widget unfortunately uh, so here you go um, go and loot this box inside of this box you will find a couple of equipment pieces you need in order to continue with the um, tutorial after you pick that one up just go and activate the next gate where the game will introduce you in uh, two different types of um, signatures that being data sites relic sites and gas sites those are the main exploration signature types out there okay here we go we are now inside the data site you might want to look around this uh, is how data sites in general look like in terms of structures they host look around and then activate the next gate we are already in range we don't have to get closer the gate is taking us into warp and uh, next up we got the uh, relic site which is being presented to us with a little bit of explanation here from our agent let's close that window that's how relic sites sort of look like we are going to stage number three that is presenting us with a gas site so this is really just sightseeing to visually recognize things a bit better that's the gas site and now we're done with this uh, section of the tutorial the game will hopefully ask us to dock back up in a moment let's read the details and it completed sometimes it takes a while just give the game a moment and now we go and dock and complete mission number two Okay, same same start conversation complete mission and uh, we'll get mission number three which is going to explain us or is going to ask us to scan down things so let's request uh, this mission remember we just got things from the previous site and these things are going to be um, important therefore we need to fit them to our ship so go to uh, the fitting again hit the little uh, container and then you're going to be like mm, where is it it's not there the items we just picked up they're not in the item hanger they are in our ship cargo hold so you can go to that little drop down menu on top and uh, change to your ship's um, cargo and you can see the modules now so you're going to fit the, the probe launcher um, the probe launcher also has charges which we will need in order to scan things down so we are going to put the charges inside of the probe launcher that's just drag and drop and we're going to fit put the modules on the ship a data analyzer and a relic analyzer let's put them in the mid slots well that's the only place they can go it does not matter which one really and then we are ready for the next mission so i did fit these uh, these modules let's accept uh, the mission and uh, well I guess we undock next and again at any point if you want to see again the mission information or the details just go to that little question mark read details and the game is going to explain you what to do now I do know what to do so I will um show it to you without 
further uh, ado. We have to scan down the data site now in order to declutter the uh, probe scanner window a, a little bit and make that easier. We can use a filter. Currently, everything a probe scanner can interact with is shown. So we have these green things, which are um, anomalies. They are there to just warp to. And then we have the red things, which are currently unidentified. We don't know exactly what uh, they are. What we do not need to see right now are the anomalies because we already passed that stage of the uh, tutorial. So let's turn them off and we only have cosmic signatures left. The next step is we are going to open up the map, the solar system map, and launch our probes. This is super important as a next step. Launch the probes. That means you're clicking this module and boom, you can see um, a little cluster of spheres appearing in blue on your screen. Plus there are a lot of red spheres which indicate roughly the position of these cosmic signatures. You can click in the probe window, uh, the probe scanner window to see which uh, sphere is which. Uh, in general though, you just want to make sure one of these spheres is sort of centered or inside of your uh, scanning cluster here. This is going to be sort of a triangulation of or by eight probes which you just launched. Um, after you position this, uh, this sphere, you are going to hit analyze. The probes are warping away, so you will no longer see them in the overview. They are warping away to their uh, designated position in order to triangulate uh, the signals. Now, this might look very messy at uh, first, but we were actually pretty lucky in terms of uh, that uh, we kind of scanned one of these um, things right away. So initially, I suggest if you don't hit any uh green or any data site that is completely scanned after an initial pass just move it somewhere on top of another red sphere and you will eventually find one um you will find a, an ex an extensive tutorial about scanning and hacking on this channel uh later this year stay tuned for that um what we're looking for is the data training site we scanned that down now it's green it's not an anomaly it is a scanned down cosmic signature we can now access like it is an anomaly because we know its position so let's warp there and we we have the data site training area pop up informing us that we are warping there now we can close the solar system map and you can see our our ship is already warping at this point you might be wondering Wait, where are these probes I put in the launcher? My launcher is now empty. These probes are still out in space. They are at the position you did your last scan. They're still there. If you jump a gate or you dock up at the station, these probes will be automatically returned to your ship's cargo hold, so you do not lose them. What you can do, however, is you can pull them back manually. If you want, recover active probes. Click that button. And now they are back in your ship's cargo hold and you might right click on this module to reload the probes so you can launch them again next time you are in this system or in another system where you want to scan something. All right, that being said, uh, we arrived at the uh, data training site and we need proof of a discovery. The, uh, the way we do this is we're going over to the uh, training container, which requires us to use our data hacking tool in order to open it. So uh, I'm going to speed this up. I will turn on my propulsion mod, my afterburner here, so my ship goes faster now, up to 600 meters uh, a second, and we are slowly approaching the training container. Once we are here, we need to lock this up. We need to lock up the training container. You can either... Uh, just click in space and lock the target or you can control you can hold down control and click the thing in space I'm gonna unlock it again you can also control and click this in your overview in order to uh, get a target lock on on this container and there is a pro trick already if you want to lock multiple things at the same time you can hit control left mouse down and create a little bit of a rectangle to lock up whatever is inside. Okay, that being done, we can now use our data analyzer 
by activating it and interacting with the training container. Now this is called a uh, hacking minigame and you are looking for a firewall. On the bottom left you have an indication of your health. It's called coherence. So your hacking tool has hit points and your hacking tool also has a strength that's indicated to the right. We are going to try to find a firewall which is somewhere, uh, we're trying to find a core which is somewhere hidden on this board. What you do here um, if you want to get more details, obviously go back to the agency, check exploration videos, and it will be explained to you in detail. Generally, you just click notes and um, try to find the core. I will not explain this in detail. Eventually, you will find this core. You might... Let's see, is there a firewall somewhere? You might encounter a firewall. If that happens, it blocks any surrounding nodes, and you will have to hack this first. So if I click this now, this will... Um, reduce the coherence of the node I clicked, but it's also going to hurt me uh, with my tool's health here. If I run out of health, the hack fails and you have to start over. Normally, you can hack a, co a container twice in EVE and then it explodes and you don't get a chance to open it. So let's remove the firewall and then hack the core. Sometimes you will find tools that are going to regenerate your coherence or have a certain effect on firewalls when you apply them on the board. Okay, the system hack is successful. After that, we can loot this like a normal container. Um, open cargo, and we got proof of discovery. Loot all. It is now in our cargo hold. And we can hit the dock button on the top left to go back to the agent and bring proof of concept, uh, proof of uh, discovery for the uh, data site. Let's see what we, what we will have to do next. Well, my guess is we will be sent to a relic site there are two different types of hacking sites one is a relic site and the other one is a data site uh you will get different loots depending on which site you which type of site you hack you need two different tools generally speaking in order to access either a data site you use the data tool or a relic site use the relic hacking tool okay let's go as for the Doctor Who crossover event, you will be faced with relic hacks. Relic hacking is going to be what you do there. Completing the mission, we are going for mission number four out of five, which is pretty much the same we just did. I'm going to speed run this. Um, we will undock. We will have to scan down the relic site now. Go there, hack it, get the proof of discovery. And we're good to go. So let's uh, launch our probes again. We're going into this uh, system view. Um, I'm going to actually scan here this time. There's a lot of spheres. Let's analyze and see what we get. You're looking for a relic. There's a gas training site. I already scanned down before, before I docked to the station. There's another data site. We are looking for a relic site. So let's see if we can find this here now. And there is one relic training site. Yay, scan it down. Let's walk there and find our proof of discovery. You can also toggle into the solar system map by hitting F9, 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 F9. Makes it a bit faster than clicking buttons. Uh, in general, there are a lot of things you can put on hotkeys in Native Online, which makes it uh, much faster to interact with, well, the things. Okay, we arrived. We know how it works. We are approaching the relic container at 22 kilometers, which is going to take a moment, and then we will hack that thing. We can already try to lock it up, yeah, since we are in range. If you can't lock up a target, you might not be in range yet, so just approach it first and uh, lock it up later. Okay, we are in range. Let's uh, use the relic tool now. Same thing as before. Oh, whoa, that was a lucky core. It is right uh, the first click I did on the board. Well, I win this, I guess. And then looting it 
it's in our cargo we go back talk at the station and we will be handed the lost mission and this is also where this little tutorial will end bear with me we're almost there the video is actually longer than i thought it would be um but it, i hope it's still uh serving its purpose welcoming you Uvians, to eve online and giving you a head start into the activity you're going to do in a doctor who space make no mistake the visuals you just saw are nowhere near what will await you in the uh, crossover event sites i've been with eve a long time and if eve can do one thing it is stunning visuals and you will not be disappointed let's talk to the agent complete the mission and we are requesting the last one which is a gas site scanning also the game tells us um as soon as you accept the mission uh, we will provide you with a pass key into the second area uh, this is also a mechanic you might encounter in in the future um some gates the gates we took before the acceleration gates to get into a mission um space might be protected and you need the key so here's another bump in the road if you don't know what you have to do next you will be uh, undocking going to the gate cannot use the gate and waste your time let's accept the mission and do it right what happened now is you got a pass key but that pass key is currently in the hangar in the station hangar and you need to move that key into your cargo hold before you go to this mission um unfortunately the tutorial is not telling you this uh, explicitly but here we go let's open the inventory again we go to item hangar and we can see oh there is the gas pass key and this here is our little ship and uh we just moved the gas pass key into our little ship let's check it's there now oh together with our probes nice close that window close that window and undock Uh, we already have a training uh, gas site, gas training site available here from our previous scans. So we can just go there without scanning a new one. Let's warp there. Maybe reload our probes. Um, I'm going to introduce you to another trick. Later on, when you interact with the market and get more probes uh, that way or through a mission, you get more probes. If you have eight probes in your cargo hold, well, if you have a set of 16 probes you load eight into your probe launcher you launch these probes and there are still eight left in your cargo hold it will automatically reload that launcher so you don't have to do this uh, in between launches so uh tldr pr bring 16 probes instead of eight it's gonna make your life much easier okay that being said we are at the site uh as acceleration gate we're gonna activate it since we have the pass key we can if we would not have the pass key the game would tell us uh hey go pick up that key let's see what happen that happens next okay there we go nothing to hack with the gas site what we are going to do here is just loot the container which is almost in range you can directly issue the open cargo uh command you don't have to approach first the ship will automatically try to get in range when you do this okay proof of discovery in our cargo we're done with the mission let's hit the dock button and that is where this uh tutorial concludes there are so many things you can learn in eve and uh, i could go on for for hours and hours even days probably introducing you to what's next but now you have the basics to access the exploration part of the event sites uh, with the information available currently i did not see the new sites because they are not on the live server yet they will happen to be live on january 13. Uh, without that information i cannot tell you exactly how these sites are going to work but what you just learned is going to help you in this process um quite a bit that being said, if you need further help, you get stuck, or you want to know other things about Eve, how to do combat, um, is Eve is Eve really that hard? Which it, it is not. It's just Eve has a lot to offer, 
and as a starter you have to focus on something get better at that and once you master something and get bored you go to another activity don't try to win the game that doesn't work if doesn't work like that there is way too much different content to be uh for for a person to be proficient at um so just focus on the things you uh find on activities if you run out of ideas check out content creators on twitch on youtube ask them what they do when they're showing uh you uh their content how they do it and they will be happy to help um on that note leave a subscription if you're looking for further content in regards to the doctor who event we will explain how the sites work once in your life as well as uh make sure to drop by on twitch tv slash urschlag that would be this guy here um the camera on twitch is always on for youtube videos i well the main point is not to show my face it's to explain something so thanks for uh watching through this uh urschlag is uh clocking out aka doctor how to for the next couple of weeks if you have questions you will know now where to find us body links in the description um the link to twitch is in the description we will uh, there are chapters in the description to uh, jump to specific points of this video and i hope that was uh, helpful to you welcome to eve online take care and fly safe bye bye